ba ba ba. Toradachi's the killer, huh? Asaki and Mayugi. Mayugi. Instead of Taurus getting killed first, he might have done the same thing with Mitsu almost. And he can take the ball. Like him. It's proof that Joji wanted to hear about, it, even though Nat was alive and the rest of the investigation he have seen that for himself. Because we're still gonna finish the Jester or social link then. The murder of all things. And where's Teddy? Welcome back to TD Games with Persona 4 Golden. Holy crap! That's shocking battles with a big one. I love solving murder mysteries. As well as we gotta get him out of that TV world one way or another. Although it might take a little bit longer than anticipated. We still, we can't give up. Oh, we'll get him, don't worry. Now it goes alive as all that matters. We just gotta get Teddy back next. So much has happened today. You are very tired. You should rest early today to get ready to pursue the true goal for starting tomorrow. Around the corner, but we'll get him way before the end of supper. Uh, Teddy! In the velvet room. Uh, this. It seems that you've come to the velvet room in your dreams again. But something is. It's different this time. You don't see Igor, Igor, Margaret, or Marie. Teddy. Teddy is sitting here, not noticing your present. Teddy. Where, Where am I? Ah. Sensei. Why are you here? Why are you? I can ask you the same. I see. How mysterious. There are so many things I don't know about. But I did realize something. I've been thinking all this time about who I really am. But I couldn't find the answer. I was no one from the start. Dude. Humans live in the other world, and shadows live in this world. From the beginning, that's all there was to it. I was just a shadow in that world. You're always so kind, Sensei. Yeah, you're a shadow? That's awesome! You're not a bad one, and me some of them are pure-hearted. You're a rare case, Teddy. More than that, you are a friend. A best friend. I figured something out. What is it? That day at the hospital, I realized that I really can't do anything. But Teddy... As soon as I thought that, I lost consciousness. Then when I woke up, I was inside the fog. Shadows can't stay in the human world. They aren't allowed. So you're a shadow, but a good kind. You keep the balance between those and the personas to have the different worlds for people's emotions. That's what you are in the TV world. I walked, I walked and, walked, and walked, walked, but there was nothing all around me. Just when I started thinking that I couldn't go anywhere, I heard the noise of a car. And then I was here. That's what happened. I remember lots of things now. That's great, you got your memory back. My world is a place shaped by human thoughts. One day, a shadow living in that world awakened to human emotions. But humans and shadows are completely different entities. So he made himself forget that he was a shadow. He wanted to forget. He wanted people to like him. And that's how he came to look like this. <laughs> I really am stupid. He's coming those human parts as well. What the other Teddy said before, in the end, it was all true. No matter how much I search for myself, I have no self. There was no me to begin with. I'm just a shadow that took a different form so humans would like me. It would have been better if I had never remembered. But I did. I'll probably turn back to a regular shadow soon. Oh yeah, Sensei. One day, 
when you meet Nana-chan in heaven, apologize for me. About her. Wait. Tell her. I'm sorry I couldn't do anything. Tell her. I'm really Teddy. sorry. Teddy. Teddy. Nana close alive. Huh? Really? 100%. Told Teddy about how Nanako came through. I think because you helped her. You really did. I don't know how, but you did. Nana Jones. Yeah, she's gonna be okay. She's a little tired now, but she'll recover soon. Wow. That's wonderful. Yeah. I'm so glad. Yeah, Teddy. I'm glad that I could at least hear that. <laughs> My heart feels so much lighter now. I'm starting to feel sleepy. What a strange place. It feels so soothing. It's not like my world. Something just feels so nostalgic about this place. Could this be your dream world, Sensei? Something like that. Uh-huh. But I wonder why I met you here. What am I supposed to do now? You can stay here. Yeah. The human world. Thanks. No matter how hard I think, there's too many things my little brain can't understand. But I do understand one thing now. What? I'm glad that I met you, Sensei. Uh, you can sense Teddy's pure and deep gratitude. So for the Teddy of the Star, maximum final level rank of level 10 completed in the Arcana. Yay! You know what these episodes will be called here. 570 subscribers to my YouTube channel, so not that bad, huh? Please subscribe more, hit the bell, notify, please leave comments, spread the word, that would be great. You? All right. He healed the light bearer. Teddy's growth of the heart has affected his persona as well. Oh, could it be? Ooh, that one's special. Then I need that. Uh, hang on, hang on. That would be useful. Yes. Something's a bit off, though. But I have to get going. This is your place. It doesn't seem like somewhere that I'd be allowed to stay. Teddy. Goodbye, Sensei. Teddy. Igor, Marie, Margaret. Before you know it, Teddy is gone. And Igor, Margaret, and Marie are sitting there once again. Hmm. It seems, it seems the words in your memory weren't the only things you summoned here. This is a room for guests who have an ego that can be nurtured. Why was Teddy in here, though? Shadows, mere fragments broken off from the ego, have no place here. The water's strength has moved a single stone that had stopped, returning it once again into the flow. Mmm, very interesting. Igor has a meaningful smile on his face. What? Well, now, it's about time we departed once again. Okay. This vehicle is still on its journey. There is no reason to tarry here for long. Margaret? We're ready to go. Let us depart. Oh, you stopped for Teddy. And that means... <laughs> ah, you are every inch the guest I had anticipated. Now, it's time for you to return. <laughs> okay. I am even more intrigued now as to where this is all headed. We'll be waiting for your next visit. Bye. Cool. Teddy, will you come back? Teddy? Teddy? Juno's Electronics Department. 
How did it go? Did you find Teddy? Ah, crap. No, and no one's seen him either. Oh, that annoying little furball. Just when we're at a turning point in the case, too. We have no choice. Let's pursue Adachi for now. See a choice indeed. Here we go. Wow! So the TV world of his Adachi's Whoa. City Look how Inaba. dense this fog is. It's gotten even worse than before. Even, even the glasses aren't working. What the there's this malicious aura everywhere. It feels completely different from the last time I was here. I think we'd better hurry. Give me right. a sec to try finding a dachi. Okay. Does this mean both this world and ours are getting messed up? Our glasses work on the fog on the other side. It can't be normal. And I heard more people are falling ill because of the fog. I wonder what's going to happen. I want to know too. I sense him. Adachi's definitely in here. Are you serious? Which way? Where? Hold on. So he did come to this side. Well, that settles it. There's virtually no doubt remaining that he's the true culprit. Once we capture him, solving the mystery of this world and the rest of the case can't be far behind. Right. Then maybe we'll find out where Teddy came from too. Man, where is that bear anyway? Can't do without well, him. Well, I can say for sure he's not here. And I know Adachi is here, but I can't track him down myself. Gee, Ted, why aren't you here when we need you most? This place. He's back. Uh, I see. I came back. But it really doesn't matter. I'm completely useless. Nana-chan, I'm so sorry. Teddy? Nanako! It is you, Teddy. I heard... your voice. You said... Hang in there. I heard... My big bro, and everyone else, too. Uh. <laughs> Nana-chan! Oh, hold on! I'll get the doctor! Yay! Awaken! It seems she's asleep again. But that's all that matters, she's still okay. I knew she's recover once she walked through, and now she is awake a little. Um, Nana-chan told me that she heard my voice. She heard me say, hang in there. It could be that her frankly miraculous recovery was because everyone's voices reached her. Even unconscious, people are capable of hearing others' voices. Amazing. My voice. And theirs, too. Everyone. In any case, there are too many things we don't understand about her condition and what caused it. I don't know if you'll ever know. We're doing our best, but it's difficult when everything about her illness is a total unknown. Mm. Unknown? Well, if anything happens, please send for me. If I'm an unknown being, then the way I can change is unknown too. So all I have to do is make them not unknown. <laughs> Nana-chan's doing her best. Sensei and the others are probably fighting now too. I, I'm just a shadow. Something's but Nana-chan cheered up when she heard my voice. That was from the finishing of the social link arcana with Teddy. So what if I'm just a shadow? There must be something I can do. I can't just give up thinking about things. That's why I came back here. Right, Nana-chan? Here we go! The persona. That's better. Teddy's strong will that allow him to accept and overcome his weaknesses has awakened his heart's true power. Ah, oh, cool! <laughs> Teddy's persona has been reborn. Kino... Kintoki Doji has transfigured into Kanwi. Right. 
I need to get back to the others. Go, Teddy. Hang in there, Nana-chan. I'll be back soon. Yay. Welcome back. It's no use. I can only tell that Adachi is here, not his exact location. Rizichan! If only Teddy was with us. Didn't he say his nose is practically useless now? And could he even help us find that bastard? <laughs> nope. He'd be no help at all. But he was always there to support me whenever. That bear's a loud mouth, but he's nice to have around. He's always so full of energy. He's lighthearted and always optimistic. Mm -hmm. It's alright, we say. I'm alright. I just got a little dizzy. The fog's so dense, it's hard to see through it. Why don't we call it a day? It won't do us any good if you collapse. Oh, I agree. If Rise-san became fatigued, even if we found Adachi, our capacity in battle would be reduced. Moreover, it's almost nighttime. We should return to our world for the present. Okay. Now let me say, up we go. We'll get Adachi. I'll let you know when this time's right. I think I'm gonna let an edgy head in my criminal get away. I don't think so. Whoosh. Damn it! We came so far to run smack into a dead end. Right into the brick wall. I know he's in there too. What's wrong with me? My powers are completely useless. What do you say? That's not true. Teddy? Teddy! You little... Where the hell were you? Uh, I'm sorry. You idiot! Bad bear! Bad! Aww. You're so late! Who do you think you are? Nice friendly hug. <laughs> Um, Rise-chan, are you faking? No, stupid! S sorry I want to help you all again. You know how much trouble you caused, you dumb bear? Where the hell were you? I'm sorry. It's okay. I figured out a lot of things. Stuff about me and that world. I wanted to tell you all. What? Oh, he told him everything. He listens to Teddy's confession since he finally understands who he really is. That he was only a shadow. And that, though, he was at his end, wit's end. He was able to come back to all your work. A shadow? You mean you're one of those things we've been fighting? Yup. Just like the ones you all know about. Shadows are suppressed human thoughts given form. Yes. Everyone has them inside. Yeah. Wait, you say you're a shadow, but you didn't attack us. And you kept telling us from the start that you wanted to bring peace and quiet back to that world, right? But in the end, I was just an ordinary shadow. Nothing special about me at all. I did everything I could until now to try and make my world peaceful. But instead, the weird fog started seeping out into this world, too. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. If I really was special, then maybe... It's no big deal. I mean, we weren't expecting much from you in the first place. Oh, yeah, we gotta catch him up on what we found about the criminal. And about you being a shadow? We pretty much figured you were something like that anyway. Huh? Care what, you are. Ooh, what are you saying? What do you think we're saying? Here I am pouring my heart out to you, and you say you thought I was something like that, anyways? No normal person would think such a pretty bear could really be a shadow. So, what's the problem with being a shadow? Yeah. It's true that you may have been born that way, but you now possess the power of persona. Yeah. A shadow is suppressed power. Once controlled by the ego, it becomes a persona. Yeah. Doesn't it follow then that you must have developed an ego? Yeah. Whether the ego masters its shadow or the shadow awakens to its ego. Yeah. The only difference I see is the order in which the process occurred. What they said. Oh, Teddy's practically human then. A human heart. I, I'm 
the same as humans? No one's born perfectly, not everyone. You keep trying to figure out who you are, just like all of us here. You can't do much on your own. You really aren't that special. See? What's so different between you and us? <laughs> Thank you! I'm so glad have, have, have. I met you guys! Just stop being a bird, though. The rest of us were pretty much a group of misfits to begin with, too, right? Yeah. You fit right in, man. I beg your pardon? Who are you calling a misfit? <laughs> Not the space there. Isn't that just you, Senpai? Hey, that's not something a detective would say. Or an idol, either. <laughs> Gee, stop crying, will you? Now's not the time for that. While you were gone, we figured out who murdered the announcer and Senpai. Yeah, and Taro's proven innocent. It was Adachi. Huh? Adachi? That total goofball? Unfortunately, his true colors were shown. Whoa! I didn't notice at all. Looks like I'm pretty blind to that sort of thing. Blind is a bad But you all know him. If you can't find someone like that, I don't think I can help you. Crap. Like I said, we're not expecting much from you. Well, the main thing is, it's hard to get pumped about this without someone nice and fuzzy around. Yeah, what Kanji said. Bouncy, bouncy, bouncy. Uh, okay. That's a compliment, dude. Thanks, guys. And... Mention it! Alright, now that the band's back together, let's take it from the top. Starting tomorrow. Right. It's been a while, but I'll do my best to look for him, too. Leave it to Fuzzy! You're not Fuzzy. You're Teddy. You need to take another step toward the truth. Social link of the Seekers of Truth. Judgment on that level 6. The investigation team is back! And now, to we gotta finish with your social link soon enough. And we will, too. Since you'll start fresh again tomorrow, each of you decided to go home for today. Well, you can't keep an eye on the house for Dojima and Monica. I have friends to help. How many more do I need to say about the council again? I want to chat. Okay. So Hopefully we can get other stuff, but don't worry. Don't worry. I'm I hope I, I can get two channels going up to that. But I will say this. I can't really do the whole Patreon thing. <laughs> If one day my YouTube channel gets a big group, etc., who help me out, perhaps, maybe, I get the chance. You should rest early today to get ready for the search. 99! Oh, yeah! This one's gonna be important. Alright, uh, before I forget, guys, um... I will finish this game. It might take a while again. But if I might take a break, and I will make sure my save file's good. It gets finished up the socials links for all of them. I, um, I, um, may have to do some other games in between. We'll try. You fully recovered from yesterday's event. You should go over to the TV world with everyone after school. Okay, I think this one's important that something's gonna change between the social link with, you know. Whoa, it's still trippy when we go in. Try the 3D class. Maybe. <laughs> All right, Teddy. I'll give it a try, but... Get your nose a whipping. If Risei-chan couldn't find him, I really doubt someone with a dried-up nose like me will be much help. Ah, oh, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, you're Teddy. I'm sure, like, your different pair of bears can smell better compared to dogs and cats and a few other animals. Hmm. Mm. Come on, dude. I do smell a dachi baby in here. But the fog is completely covering up his scent. Oh. Uh, well, it works. Wait, why are you calling him a dachi baby? Teddy, you can't do it either? When you look at me with those eyes, I get this feeling. I've got to sniff him out no matter what! This is my time to shine! Ooh, I'm getting something! 
What? Huh? You're going super thin? Teddy? Hey, quit wandering around. You better not flake better not out on us again. again. I don't think he is. I don't think huh? he has been. I sense it from this away. He flakes, he gets nervous, but now he can is fight. Is it Itachi? Um, how do I put it? It's kind of hazy, but at the same time, it feels like I've got a whopper on the line. I don't get it. <laughs> what? Can you find a visible strain that leaves him from a sense of humor like Ichigo finds from his soul ribbon things? Very suspicious. This definitely smells. But that's weird. What? If I remember right, that's where Sensei, Yosuke, and Chie-chan came from when I met them for the first time. Huh. When we first... Where was that? Oh. You mean that creepy-ass room where all the faces on the posters were cut out? So it wasn't Miyuki and um, Ayama's place of the TV world there in Inaba because Saki got caught, got killed there, and uh, Mayumi as well. It was the Dachis! Yep, there's someone there! Back in the Inaba place! Teddy, you really are amazing. Way to go, Teddy. It was just dumb luck. It's because that's where I first sensed Sensei and the others. That's why it kind of smelled over there. Oh, I see. Wait, did you say it smelled? Wasn't that the room where Yosuke had to go to the bathroom? And... He didn't really go pee. Huh? You're saying he peed his pants there? Oh, I don't want to hear it. Oh, you lie so bad! Uh, Dude, I did not piss my pants! He didn't. She had quit spreading random rumors about stuff like that. Uh, well, it happened so long ago, my memory's kind of fuzzy, you know? She ate. Okay, guys, enough fuzziness! Follow me, the master of fuzzy logic! <laughs> he didn't pee there, relax. He didn't go pee. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't heard you crack up in a while, Yukiko. Though I really wonder sometimes about your sense of humor. Ha! Our cheerful mood has returned to the group thanks to Teddy, and you have taken another step towards the truth. Uh, taking the truth of the judgment goes up to number seven. We'll be done soon before you even know it. Yeah. Alright, Yukiko, let's go. I knew it is this room. And the other parts. The damn bitch. Dodge. I noticed her first, and she just had to run off and have an affair. Ah, oh, sick! You had a crush on her? Mayumi? No way! She loved Toru, and you should have known about that. You're enough of our part. Who's there? Who do you think, murderer? Oh, it's you guys. You're very persistent. You're the real killer. Admit it! I don't know what you're talking about. Stop giving that grin on me. You're not lying your way out of this one, damn it! Just being here proves it! Answer us! You're the one who threw Ms. Yamano into the TV, aren't you? <laughs> it was an accident. She started struggling. What else was I supposed to do? Now let her I called her TV. out to the lobby because I wanted to ask her something, and then she started getting hysterical on me. You were trying to make your move on her. No means no. Okay, here's what really happened. <laughs> Who are you? And what's this something important you called me out here for? What they say on the news isn't true, is it? All that talk about you having an affair and whatnot, it's all a lie, right? Why do I have to explain myself to you? I see. So you don't deny it. You caught my eye. But it turns out you're another worthless bitch. What's wrong with you? Don't make me call for help. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. I think you need to see what it's like to fear for your life. It'll get your head straight. Dude, <laughs> what are you going to do? Ah! 
she fell in. <laughs> wow, so people can go completely inside. You watch her die. Good thing for me no one else was around there in the middle of the night. Dude! That happened in our lobby? I learned about the Midnight Channel through some rumor. You hear a lot of fishy stories like that on the Force. But it was pure coincidence that I touched the screen and discovered my power. I burst out laughing when I found out. I knew right away that this was going to be interesting. You enjoyed it, Sigo? So you tested it out on Mayumi Yamano? Nah, it was nothing like that. I'm a very sincere fellow. Bull! I was just trying to punish the stupid bitch a little for betraying me. She didn't betray you. She never even loved you. You're blind. Yeah, putting them inside the TV was never the plan. But you know, both Mayumi and that dippy high school girl struggled for no reason. You did the same thing with Saki too. Then you were responsible for Saki Senpai's death. Saki? Oh yeah. Her name was Saki Kunishi, or something like that. At first I just called her in because of work-related stuff. Her being the one who found Mayumi's body and all. And naturally, if there was any chance she'd seen something, I'd need to know, right? So I was all set to be a nice guy to her. And then that bitch. Ah, oh, it's nasty! You were trying to make a move on her too? Yeah, no one would ever What's date this you. What's about anyways? Didn't you call me in for more questions? Well, we'll get to that. But you know, I saw you this afternoon. You were getting pretty cozy with that Namatame. Oh! Huh. So I'm not good enough for you. Well, I know how to deal with girls like you. No! God, these high school girls today. This world's gone straight to shit. You're a mess. When I was in school, I wasn't allowed to do anything but study my ass off. I was supposed to be the best of the best, and instead they stick me in the boonies. But I guess I got the sweet power to make up for it. <laughs> Life's not so bad after all. You're sick, man. Get on your knees and beg, and maybe I'll let you out. <laughs> yeah, like that'll happen. As if I'd walk into a death trap like that. Oh my god. It was a lot easier the second time. High school girls are thinner, you know? Lighter. You son of a bitch! Come on, give me a break. I didn't know it was dangerous inside the TV. It's not like I was trying to kill them. I mean, I'm sure they hit on Namatame, not the other way around. The council secretary will one day rise to public office himself. Mayumi and that high schooler were just gold digging. They got exactly what they deserved. I didn't do anything wrong at all. Shut up, shut up, shut up! Shut the hell up! You knew from what happened to Mayumi Yamano that people die in here! <sighs> so what if I knew? You were trying to do the same thing with me and told to get off the case, but he got out of there thanks to us, and you just got along with it to have him arrested. You were gonna kill him, and you were gonna do the same thing with Taro, alright, weren't you? Just transfer him. You sick, sick, sick bastard! Did you trick that Namatame too? Did you? Nah, he called the police in the middle of the night, just after they found that Saki girl's body. The rest of the force had their hands full with the double homicide, and it happened that I was the one who took the call. He played him as a fool. Namatame said the police refused to take him seriously. You were responsible for that then. Oh, quite the contrary. If anyone else had taken the call, sure. But I actually did believe him, you know? Crap. For Taro. Ah, that's the pattern to the two deaths so far? And now you're seeing a girl in a kimono on that weird program, and you think she'll die too, is that right? Namatame-san, do you seriously expect us to believe something like that? But, but it's true! If there's any way the police can protect her... Listen, 
There's no way the police are going to make a move based on a fantasy story like that. <laughs> it does sound interesting, though. B -b but Oh, I have an idea. If you really want to save her that much, why not do it yourself? Like, you could shelter her somewhere. Some place where no one could find her. Oh, man. That way from Yugi called Kanji Risei Nato afterwards. Where no one could find her? Nako. You played him, you idiot! Save her yourself. You can do it. I'm busy, so I'm hanging up now. Bye. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? Of course, you were writing those threats to Yukon as well. Of all the people who could receive Namatami's call, it ended up being me. Talk about luck! You wanted the others to die? You're messed up! All I did was give him a little push. And he completely bought into his vision of this world. The more people you guys saved, the more he'd kidnap. Both sides had the best of intentions, so the game of cat and mouse would never end. <laughs> it was awesome. You gotta be shitting me! Mm. Why? What reasons could you have for doing that? No kidding. <laughs> reasons? None, really. I could do it, that's all. And it was fun. I guess that's my reason? That's it? It's because it's fun? That's why you've been doing this? Sort of, and others? That's not fun, it's maniac suicide! You murdered people just for the fun of it? You're the... Pickable. Come on, all I did was put people in here. I didn't murder them. It's still considerate. Their shells murdered them. And you, it's still content to murder. And Namatami did most of it. I had nothing to do with any of you. Yeah, but we noted in a nigga time to stop the issue. You're just dodging the blame. Thank you. Yeah? Then how would you prove it? He put people inside TVs? <laughs> The police are that stupid? Uh, what a jerkwad! Tell me about it, Teddy. I do admit, though, I never thought you guys would manage to track me down. I think Teddy and Reese on that part. I like that. Games like this gotta have surprises or they get boring fast. You know what? Akechi was still bad what he did and obviously needed some help, but I don't blame him because of the mess of Shido's father what he tried to do to him and his mom back then. But you are the twisted of the twisted, mister! It's like when I dealt with that Kubo kid. That was fun, too. I knew it! Then, you mean to say that Mitsuo Kubo's disappearance was your doing as well? I did sense something odd in his course of action. Yeah. Sally, he's sort of not smart enough to know about the situation that's going on, and got caught in the middle, so Dachi tried to blame him first before he tried to do the same thing as Taro to try to kill them both either way. If he had special powers and wanted attention, why resort to a regular copycat crime? But that wasn't the case. Kubo had no such no. powers. In fact, he was thrown in by you. Am I correct? And of course, the shadow is all in all smarty pants, so we kind of settled down with him before we got him under control of the real deal. It had been a while since I last put someone inside the TV, so I really got a kick out of that one. Why did you do that? And how come Mitsuo didn't say anything about you? <laughs> you think that didn't occur to me before I did it? Come on, I'm a detective. I led him through to a room at the station with the TV, switched off the lights, and did it quick while he was still startled. As long as he didn't see me push him in and no one else did either, no one would believe him, even if he survived. Guy's getting arc in uh, asylum treatment, and sort of. He's gonna be a juvenile. But hopefully, there's sort of time there to get some help. You stole the far worse from it. Compared to him, he shouldn't even deserve to die. Of course, I don't think the Kubo kid ever figured out what happened. <laughs> Sneaky. Wait, the police station? Yeah. yeah. He turned himself in pretty quick, actually. This was back when we didn't even know enough to issue a search warrant. But the other officers decided it was just a prank, so they pawned him off on me. I didn't blame them. I mean, a kid coming and saying, I did it all, it was me! Who'd believe him? But it looked bad. I didn't think anyone would come forward and take the blame for all the incidents. 
The police were desperate to pin it on yeah, anyone. Yeah, he If this kid really did it, they might have announced the case was closed. The only thing about Mitsuo Kubo was still annoyingly bad about that character. I think it was about him, was it? And if that happened, Namatame would stop saving people. I couldn't let that happen, or the game would be over. That's why I told the others I sent him home. I came up with the idea to put him inside the TV on the spot. The game would be over? You threw him in just so your fun wouldn't end? And blame Taro still. You gotta have some excitement in life, don't you agree? But then you guys put your foot in it yet again and ruined my fun. I'm actually surprised and happy that we did save him. And Tar before Thanks he to took you, away. Kubo was arrested again, and everyone acted like he was the true culprit behind it all. Couldn't they see how badly he copied the crime scene? It worked out in the end, though, because good old Namatame kept saving people. I guess the guy started to develop some kind of messiah complex, huh? What an idiot. Shut up! This is all a game to you. How dare you murder people! Murder Saki Senpai for such a stupid reason! You bastard! I'll never forgive you! That is okay. I couldn't agree with you more. You can keep your forgiveness. Our world will probably become just like this place soon enough, anyways. What? Didn't you notice? The fog's leaking out. Everything on that side's pretty much screwed. The two worlds will merge soon, and then there'll be no difference, no sides anymore. TV what the hell world are we talking about? Will be one? This isn't his real body. Ah. The real Adachi is somewhere else. He can do that for his powers? I never knew that. But this guy feels different from an ordinary shadow. It doesn't seem like he's going berserk. It looks like his human self power, he can copy his ability. So he must have a persona as well. <laughs> wow. You can tell that much? This me is just around to greet you guys. That goes Thank the same you for wasting your time by chasing me in here. Where did you get the powers then? I'd say this world has taken a real shine to me. I feel like it's giving me everything I've ever wanted. And the monsters don't attack me at all. Maybe they can tell we have the same goal. Shut it. The shadow's goal? By the end of the year, Inaba will disappear completely into the fog. Soon, this place will be reality. Ah! It's gonna do it in the new year! I'll be in this world, so if you want me, come and get me. This world has a mind of its own. We'll see which of us it favors. Keep your bullshit to yourself! We'll find the real you and we'll be stopping you once for all. It's about time you shut the hell up! We'll finish this right now! Wait, Kanji! Really? What a chump! Didn't I just tell you the real me is somewhere else? I'll be expecting you all. We'll put an end to this. Get it's a back deal, here, then. You. <laughs> the murderer. The duel competition will commence soon enough this month. Before this messed up happens in the that new year. Stuff about the world's mind and how this place will become our reality. Was he serious? I don't want to think that, but I think he might be. The rest of his confessions were consistent. We'd best proceed under the assumption that it's no lie. It felt like he's gained some strong power after coming here. Not only that, maybe he got taken over by that power. Sort of. So what he said about the two worlds becoming one, that's really gonna happen? Didn't he say that it would happen by the end of this year? What happens then? I think he means this world will engulf the human world. The people in town are acting weird. It's like when the shadows that emerged from people went berserk. Yeah. If the fog gets even thicker, and this town is completely shut off from the outside world, then the other side might become full of shadows, like over here. Crack, 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 crack. You mean everyone's gonna turn into shadows? Ah! Damn it! Damn that bastard! Why? We went through so much to get here, and now it turns out he was pulling our strings this whole time? Hmm. Fortunately. 
no more. We'll end this soon enough. Yeah. It's about time we finish this. I don't right. want to feel this way ever again. Yes. What the? There's a path we can take now. Oh, that's right. I sense Adachi's presence from that direction. He's taunting us. Quit taunting us and fight us like a man. Bring it on! Let's go kick his ass right now! Uh, is now the time? Wait, I suggest we prepare ourselves first. Good idea, I kind of agree. We can't let him stab us in the back ever again. Right. I get it, I get it. We must face him with all the power at our disposal and defeat him without fail. Of course. I agree with that too. I'm a little worried what he means by the end of the year. But now's not the time to freak out. Don't worry, we got time. I know when to go. Stop the dodgy for good. Let's get prepared. Let's get over prepared and leave footprints all over his stupid smug face. Yeah, smug face. By pull, pulling all your strength, the path to the truth has been opened. Social link of the secret of the truth address rate goes up to level 8. Two more to go! Woo! Okay. Senpai, please don't go on alone. Alright. I understand that it must hurt, since you seem to have a personal relationship with him. It does, but yeah, I mean... Uh, yeah? Maybe that's why. I feel a presence kind of like yours up ahead. Really? He might be calling to you. Yukon? Wait, never mind. Forget I said that. We're all going together, okay? Okay. Promise us. Uh, okay. What do they mean by that? The unexpected true culprit has finally been confirmed. Before the end of the year, this town will be swallowed by the fog. You must fi finish things for them. You resolve to be fully repaired before facing Adachi. Oh, you know it. Yeesh. Better come fully repaired then. Okay. We'll stop here. We got a few more things to show you before we do other process to finish up the social link with uh, Nato. A few others before we go out. Don't worry, I'll keep you posted when we do. Okay? Until next time, my Persona Series fans out there in Persona 4 Golden, we know the reason why Adachi's doing the sick ways. We stop for sure. But before that, that will be shown next episode for sure. You'll see.